Hi, my name is Forrest Tanaka. With the war between Apple and Adobe regarding Adobe Flash that's been happening lately, some photographers I've noticed have felt stuck in the middle between those two companies because they have Flash-based slideshows of their photos on their websites, and they feel there's no real al alternative, as HTML5 won't even be ready for a while yet. So I thought I'd show tonight that there's there are other options and I'd show one other option that's actually quite easy to use uh, to get a photo slideshow on your website. So here's 20 photos that I'll put onto a website. I'll code it from scratch right here in this video. And so, hold on, let me refresh this. Okay, so here's Dreamweaver, here's our images. And we're just going to use HTML4 and JavaScript. So here's a regular HTML4 document. I'll just give it a title. And in the body, I'll just give a quick little ID area here. I'll call it slideshow. Slideshow. And we'll load in. I have 20 images here. I'll just load in five for now, just to make things easier for now. I'll put image source. This is just regular old. I'll just uh, type it in. Images slideshow 01.jpg alt slideshow. So this matches up with these files here. And like I said, I'll load up five. So I'll just do it this way. Four, five. And let's call this index.html. And I think we can pretty much predict what that's going to look like. We can see one photo on top of the other, just like that, which is exactly what we specified here. So how do we turn this into a nice slideshow? Well, for that, we need JavaScript. And to make that easier, we need something called jQuery. jQuery is a free library that is one of the most amazing things to happen to the web, I think. Um, it's just a JavaScript library. You include it into your website. And it gives you a lot of pretty amazing capabilities, different animations, and it works cross-browser for the most part. Now, you can either download the, the JavaScript library to your website and load it up from there, which isn't bad because the compressed version, I think, is uh, 115K, I think. Or you can load it from one of the official hosts. And that's what we'll do here. Google hosts uh, a jQuery library version 1.4.2, which is the latest. So we'll just copy the link. And while we're here, why don't I add an ID Oops, for the slideshow ID? or definition for the slideshow ID. So style text equals, oops, source equals, no, sorry, type equals text slash CSS. And I'll put in uh, pound slideshow. And I'll close it off here. And I'll just do something simple here. Uh, we'll set the margin to top and bottom zero, left and right to auto, padding zero. And that should do it. And then we'll load in the JavaScript library. For that, we'll need script. Uh, type equals text slash JavaScript. Source equals, and we'll paste in that URL we just copied loading it from Google, then close the script. Now jQuery by itself won't give us a slideshow, but at this stage we can either write our hand-coded JavaScript to implement a slideshow, or we can use someone else's implementation. And there are many people who have written different implementations of slideshows. The one I like right now is called the jQuery cycle. And there's a it gives you many really nice options here. If I can bring it up real quick. 
I wish it loaded a little faster than that. Okay, well, we'll just go back to the page we were on. Uh, I'm going to load up the, the light version of it, minified. It's only 3K. And while it's called a plugin, I think it's a little bit misleading to call it that because it makes it sound like there's a something the person visiting your site has to install. And that's not the case at all. This is just the jQuery li or JavaScript library that you load um, into your web page itself. So here's our JS directory, and here's our cycle light JavaScript library. Uh, actually, let's copy this line, and we'll load in this library. So this library uses jQuery routines to implement a slideshow so that we don't have to hand code all the JavaScript for a slideshow. Now just loading these libraries won't give us a slideshow. We have to initialize the slideshow and we have to say where in our HTML that slideshow is, which is right here of course. So for that we need an initialization function. So we'll just hand code it here, text slash JavaScript. Close it off. Now to if once you start working with jQuery, this line will be burned into your brain. This is a function that's called as soon as the DOM is loaded. Uh, basically, when your web page is ready to go, this dollar document dot ready. It takes a, a callback function, and let's close that off. So this function will be called whenever your web page is ready to go, and at this stage, we should initialize the slideshow. And if we look at the documentation, we can see that for a minimal slideshow, this is, line is all we need. You can do other things too, like having previous and next buttons. And actually, the full version of Cycle gives you a lot of functions. It's rather amazing. So here we'll do, we'll tell it where our slideshow is, which is pound slideshow. And that's right here. So it'll know it has to go here to pick up our photos. Cycle. Oops. Cycle. And that's it. This is our whole code. Now let's see. A preview of our slideshow now. And there we go. That's all it took to give us a, a JavaScript slideshow. This uses no Flash, no HTML5. And after we get to the last photo, it comes back around to the first photo. And this is all the code it takes. Now, of course, you'll want to put a lot of stuff on your site besides this. But um, that's how easy it is to get this running. Now, let's see how uh, one potential problem with this is if we load up more photos let's see so six seven and twenty now let's reload the site and actually, it shouldn't be too bad here because we're loading the files locally. But the problem is, this slideshow will start, or maybe I should say it this way, the DOM will be ready before all these images are loaded. And so what a lot of times you'll see is as the slideshow is starting, it'll keep stuttering and stuttering and stuttering until all the uh, slideshows are loaded, or all the slides are loaded. So now I'm going to use another jQuery plugin called called what? Image Preloader. So let's download that. And uncompress it. And we'll use the minimal one. Uh, this one. 